Welcome back to Rebuilding Astro World. This is Swag Titties, and today we are jumping right back into the middle of this area. We are going to work on Wagon Wheel, which is not exactly an enterprise, but it is a spinning uh, flat ride, let's say. Uh, the design of this is pretty simple. It's sort of like a circular flat ride with uh, awnings wrapped around it with a little bit of a center building for the main entrance area. It shouldn't be too hard. It'll be our first ride that kind of leads people from this first plaza into the Western Junction area. So this is going to be exciting to build another ride, sort of get this area moving and grooving. And uh, after finishing this, potentially we might do some rough drafts for some buildings over here. There's like a shooting range, two-story building over here. And then after the wagon wheel, it kind of jumps into multiple buildings like an arcade and an art building so not too sure wagon wheels first and then after that we'll see where we can go so thank you for watching let's settle in and have some fun
Here we are, after about an hour and a half's worth of work, we've got a sort of simple flat ride area, and let's just go ahead and put a sign for now. I think I'll do it visible, and what does the sign look like in real life? Um, I'm looking for it. Oh, it's like a circle with like brown and red lettering, so... We'll just go with the red for now. Be a darker red. Boom, wagon wheel. We might be a little bit more uh, creative with that in the future, but for now I think that works really well. Um, I'm happy with the building we've got. I think the awnings are a little messy, um, but I like the shape. It In real life, it's sort of a semicircle, and then the backside's open to foliage and such. And uh, what I want to do right here, probably pull up the land and uh, oop, make it more grass. Oops. Oh, boop, beep, pop, boop. Grass, grass. Grass, grass, grass. I'm assuming this is going to be foliage, if not like a small... Uh, you know, just a static piece, something something like that. I like how this pathway is going to be coming straight in here. I kind of wanted to imagine this coming straight through, maybe having some planters here or there. And then I'll have sort of the semicircle the same way, maybe just a corner building or something that brings you into the Western Junction area. Uh, the buildings right next to this are pretty freaking close. They kind of like make a peninsula uh, between all of the pathing. So I might have to just cut this straight into a building and then it sort of gets rid of the aesthetic from this side. But honestly, it, as, on its own, it looks kind of small and unfinished. So I think that's going to be a good thing to do. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is either do this building right here or figure out how wide we want the path in this area and we will go from there. So let's get back into the building. Spent about 10 minutes on this fountain. In the park, there is a fountain here. It is... Honestly, the theme is kind of up in the air. It's kind of got like a royal aesthetic. Maybe it's part of the European section originally. Um, on like the map from back in the day. It's like a multi-tier fountain with some awnings kind of flawing around it and there's like automobile displays a little bit over <laughs> um so maybe i'm not gonna go with this in the future i'm just vibing with it for now i am probably going to take a look at the shooting gallery building and then call it quits so we'll take a look at that and leave this as a placeholder for now Okay, so I have concluded that, let's see this before we switch. I've concluded that I feel like having 
these two like single floor rides right across the plaza from each other is sort of flat. It feels kind of flat. Obviously these are very tall buildings across the way and there's gonna be a lot of work done to this overall. But I do think there should be some variation in height between these two things. So you've probably just watched me build this little bridge up and put some diagonal fences on this. Uh, that's because I wanted to really build this area up right here, kind of like what we were gonna do, and then figure out what I'm gonna put here. I think I'm gonna just move this and shift it over and build like a two-story building that's gonna act as a buffer between these two buildings. And uh, I really think I'm probably gonna have to do it in the next episode. So if you have any ideas of what I can do when it comes to two story, we're thinking of uh, like a Western-ish um, building. I would love to see it in the comments, maybe some inspiration, maybe a park that you've been to that's got some good Western buildings, um, or even a roller coaster tycoon builder that you're like, oh man, I really like his Western style here or there, or her um, style here or there. But that is going to be the plan. I appreciate you guys tuning in to Rebuilding Astro World. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna switch back to this one. Um, hopefully you enjoyed watching um, you build this shoestrung ride with the vehicle editor. It's super awesome. You can now like edit the stats. So I just made it high, low, medium. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple now with the ride vehicle editors and the uh, like testing thing parameters. So I'm really happy with that. Still not really happy with this fountain. That's why I kind of started on an older save to figure out this plaza. Honestly, I might even send this like save file to a few other builders to see what they would do in a plaza like this. So uh, yeah, thanks again for re watching Rebuilding Astroworld. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, they all matter to me. Helps me build the park in a more uh, accurate manner, especially with how you guys perceive parks in the uh, RCT dynamic. So yeah, thanks for watching. Swag out. <laughs>